Hello there guys, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. Today's tutorial we are going to continue working with databases. In the previous video we saw how we uh, created a table, so today we are going to create a table again and uh, try to insert some data into that table. Okay, maybe do some select as well. So we will start with a new project, it's going to be C Sharp Windows application. I'm going to hit OK and from this one, let me see. I will right click here and select uh, add uh, a new item uh, select data from the, the available types uh, of items select service based database I'll leave the name as it is doesn't matter I'm gonna hit OK and I will end up with this one next I'm gonna double click the database name and uh, I will see the server explorer and this database contains no tables whatsoever so here I'm gonna right click uh, I can add a new table or s s select a new query no problem I'll select a new query no problem there I'm gonna say create table um, people there we go I'm gonna say ID or let's say person ID uh, okay uh, the, the name and it's gonna be an integer is gonna be primary key colon and we have person name uh, it's gonna be an var char of 100 and uh, I don't want this one to contain null not null okay so I put not null which tells the database management system that this sphere cannot be empty and I want the person age is gonna be integer no problem there and I will close this now from this when you when you have a query you just click on this one see here execute so I click this and command completed successfully if I refresh the tables uh, refresh you see the table people there okay if I open this you see the name of the columns now you might be asking well what if I want to see the data well right now we have no data so we saw in the previous video that we can add let's say here one there's going to be Smith, uh, there's going to be 30 and 2, there's going to be Todd and 55 and so on, right? But I don't want to add values like that. And the reason is uh, later on uh, you need to learn how to insert values using SQL because uh, as the program runs, the program can communicate with the database using SQL only, okay? Even if you are using other libraries, in the end it is using SQL. Okay, the libraries themselves they use SQL to communicate with the database management system. So uh, sooner or later you will need to work with SQL. Anyway, so now we want to insert records into this database. So here I will keep the SQL text. Let me close this. Close this. Okay. To make things a little bit bigger, uh, I will just comment this one. So I will put slash star and star slash. Now uh, let me show you people data. It's empty, right? So let's, let me go back here. So I want to insert a record. So uh, you can remember the insert command very easily in SQL. It is insert. Sorry, insert. Okay, there we go. So insert now. Usually you have multiple tables in your database, so you need to specify which table the record should be inserted to. So insert into, and then you mention the table name. It's people. Okay, and then you say the following values. I want you to insert the following values. I want to put the value 1, which will go to the first column, which is person ID. Uh, I want you to store the name. So now I must provide a string for person name. Now the string in SQL uh, is surrounded by single quotes. So here this is going to be Smith. Close that. Not double quotes, single quote. And the age is going to be let's say 30. I close that. Put a semicolon. That's it. Now if I run this, okay, you see here one row is getting affected. So I go back here. I will click on the refresh button and you see the information here. Let me go back. You see, it's very easy. Insert into people values. Okay, what if I want to insert another row? So I would just say uh, insert into this one. This is going to be Todd. 
uh, maybe it will be 22 okay enter I'm gonna say insert into people values 3 Linda 33 or maybe 66 whatever and I will say execute okay so you see one row affected twice because the first uh, message for the first statement is the second statement if I go back here I will refresh you see now we have three rows and I will go back now what if well you see this one is not null this is a primary key okay what if I want to insert values but let's say put some missing information so I'm gonna put the value 9 here okay 9 here now let's say I want to put 9 and no age okay now the first value will always go to the first one the second one the second value will go to the second column so here I'm gonna run and you see there is a problem here column name or number of supply device does not match so the definition contains three columns but here we have what we have two values so how do you make the database management system understand that you are going to provide just two values well that's very easy after the column uh, the table name you open this and you specify the columns you want to put the values in so here you have person ID and you have person name and you close that so you see this one goes here this one goes here okay so now we run and you see one row is getting affected let me go back here and refresh this and you see this is the no age record now okay another thing I want to tell you well you don't have to mention the column names in the same order I'm gonna reverse thing here person name person ID but if I reverse these here I must reverse these here as well okay so no age 2 92 okay so there's gonna be no age 2 92 and I'm gonna run this and also more row get is getting affected and uh, I'll refresh it worked again without a problem okay so I can specify the column names and supply whatever I need now what if I just want to provide one value the person ID is gonna be 93 well let me try this and run and now I'm getting an error why I cannot insert the value null into column person name and why is that well the person name here it it is a string but when we define the column we say that it cannot be null so you must provide the value for that column so what if I want to do the following I want to insert person name only Michael so I want to insert a record without a primary key or age so let me run this and I get another error cannot insert the value null into column person ID now you might say well there is no not now well if a column is a primary key by default it cannot accept null values you must specify the value for primary keys and the values for not null columns it is a must okay so at least you need to specify the primary key and the name the eight can be missing no problem but the moment you put not null in front of age you will have to specify the value for it for each record okay so this is the basic idea about inserting values now let's try inserting more stuff into this person ID and person name so let me go back here to the data okay so I'm gonna add Michael but I will set the primary key to be or the person ID to be one so I go back here this is gonna be one Michael so a certain two people person ID person name uh, one will be for person ID Michael will be for person name and I'm gonna run this 
and I get an error. Violation of primary key constraint. P, K, people, etc., etc. Cannot insert duplicate P in object, and so on. So what does this mean? This column is a primary key. The value for primary key column cannot be duplicated at all. Since your table contains a record with the value 1 in its primary key, you cannot insert another record with the value 1 in its primary key. Okay? This is the error. So let us look at this error message and try to understand what it says. Violation of primary key constraint. So you, you try to violate the rule of primary key. Now, what's this? PK people, etc. Well, the constraints in the database are given in names. If you don't specify the name for a constraint, the database management system will assign one for them. So here, the primary key constraint okay or the primary key check will have a name and the reason for these name uh, for this is because sometimes you want to create some constraints and later on you need to remove them when you want to remove them you need to know or to know how to address them so they get a unique name in this case the database management system created uh, a name for the primary key uh, for the constraint itself, not the name for the primary key column, no, for the constraint, the check itself. Now the check is called PK, people, AA, 2, FF, and so on. Okay, and then, uh, so it's it's saying which constraint has been violated. And next, uh, next is, it's, it's going to explain more about the problem. Cannot insert, sorry about that. Uh, this jumps a little bit. So I cannot insert duplicate key in object dbo.people object here. It is it means the table. Okay, dbo uh, it means the name of the database uh, or uh, yeah uh, dot people. The duplicate key value is uh, one. Okay, so it's telling you which value calls calls the duplicate. The statement has been terminated. So the execution just stopped. Okay, so what if I select value that doesn't exist in the table? So I'll choose 8 here and I will run. And you see my raw get is getting affected. So now everything works fine. No problem. Okay, so uh, you, as you can see, now we have no issues. As long as we insert values and do not duplicate the value. Uh, and the primary key, we have no problem. Now, uh, I'm gonna use the design, I'm gonna cheat a little bit because I don't remember all the data types. So, here uh, I'm gonna say open table definition. I'll show you this. So, you see here, th this is the data type. Uh, I think there's a type uh, that's called, I think, auto increment uh, or auto number, I'm not sure. Let's see, value, 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 value. Okay. That's not here. Anyway, I remember there was a data type that is kind of auto number. It is, uh, wait, let me see here. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, let me try create another table in the designer. Add a new table ID. Let's see, is there an auto number here? Uh, maybe I'm getting things uh, mixed with Microsoft Access. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Anyway, on some database management systems, you, there's an option to provide a type that's called an auto increment or auto number. And that uh, data type is actually a number, but it increases the, uh, automatically. So when you try to insert the values, you don't have to specify the primary key. It increases uh, directly. You don't have to do anything at all. Okay. So I'm going to uh, cancel this one. And uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay. So I guess... Uh, that's enough for today. We learned uh, a little bit about, uh, you know, inserting values into tables. Okay, it wasn't that hard, 
okay uh, it's very straightforward you just say insert into the name of the table maybe you want to specify the column names if you want to insert the values in specific order or um, if you don't uh, specify the column names you just say insert into table you insert your table name and then you say values and you specify the values between two brackets separating the values with commas okay um, also one of the things uh, is that uh, SQL uses single code uh, 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 to surround strings instead of double quotes so you just uh, try to remember that and uh, yeah it's as simple as that uh, of course there are more complex uh, insert statements uh, but we will cover these later on uh, hopefully in the next video we'll cover select statements and then delete statements and uh, some other uh, stuff later on